Hi, I'm David Taylor. I'm a two-time national champion. I wrestle at Penn State University. Um, world champion. I'm an Olympic gold medalist. My, my goal was to, to win a world Olympic gold medals. Did that. My goal is to win another Olympic gold medal in 2024. Um, but specifically, it's about going out with that same mindset and, and you'll never have the same hunger, right? You're never gonna have the same hunger, but it's, uh, you find something different to be hungry for. And, uh, and for me, it's, it's going out and beating that guy that beat me last. And I'm looking forward to that. Down here in Coconut Creek at the beautiful American Top Team facility. Uh, Steve Mako is having a, a class. He's a coach down here. He's having a class this afternoon. I'm going to jump into the wrestling class. And I really appreciate the hospitality and letting us use the facilities. Looking forward to a great day. Hi, I'm Steve Mako, uh, wrestling coach at American Top Team. I'm here with David Taylor, world champ. Uh, Olympic champ, visiting, working on some technique. Uh, really exciting day for us. Thanks for coming, David. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, this is pretty much like my real first week back training. So, I mean, I, I feel like it was just you know, it's been a grind since for, you know, for a long time and I just, I think it was time to just kind of take a, take a little bit of a step away from the, the training aspect. And I was wrestling, but, you know, obviously there's a big difference between wrestling and training. Yeah. You know, now just like shifting my mindset back to, back into that training mindset of, you know, getting ready. And you know, we're about 16 weeks away from uh, Final X, so our world team trials yeah. basically this year. And then, uh, and then September is our world championships in Serbia. So you're like, this is like the beginning of your push for that. Yeah. How many uh, matches is Final X? It's a two out of three format. So the way that so you'll, whoever comes through, you'll get two out of three. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I remember watching you wrestle in college. You're super slick and like pick guys out. But this year you were just like going straight through guys, right? Yeah. Well, I think I was never, you know, as a like younger, like I was never strong for as a like I was. I mean, I had wrestling strength, you know, like yeah. you know, like situational strength, you know, yeah. situational awareness. But in terms of just strength and power, I just never had that. You know, as I really put time into my strength and conditioning, you know, that, that time, you know, just, it builds, you know? If someone was gonna say, you know, when I was at any age, like, hey, you're, you're gonna win the Olympic gold medal with a double leg takedown, I'd be like, yep, no way. And taking him off his feet is a, a, a punctuation at it, right, an exclamation yeah. point. Winning the Olympics, it was, uh, it was fulfillment. You know, I didn't have that, like, that emptiness of like, I, there's still more to do. I had done everything I needed to do to be prepared. I had no doubts in my mind and, and I enjoyed every moment of it. Like in the tunnel, I was like super excited to run out there. I was excited to see like the little USA contendent that we had, you know, step on the mat. I wanted to go to war and battle and I wanted to dominate these guys. I wanted to get off the mat. I wanted to get ready for the next one. Yeah. You know, so I wasn't taking any, any moment for granted. You know, cause you never know if you're gonna be back there again. So uh, the, the, the takedown I executed you know, to win the Olympic gold medal was maybe not what I'm known for, um, but I think it was just one of those things where I was, uh, I was trying to create scoring opportunities and as he was backing up. So as he was backing up, I was having a hard time getting him. So I threw in a left hand underhook and as he was backing up, I snapped. And as he came up, I lowered my level and I penetrated through to my double leg and then drove through. And I think the thing that was interesting is because like he had been going backwards, right? Because I had been, I had been shooting a lot, and he was been going backwards, and he kept trying to catch, you know, my my arms as I was shooting in a front headlock. That I knocked him back on his heels, you know. So there wasn't a lot of resistance to the double leg because he was trying. He was so much like his butt was back. He was trying to keep me from scoring. So when I got through his head and hands, and I was able to drive through, and I was able to drive through that takedown um, with not a lot of resistance, you know. And I think it was just the it was adding up. Of, 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 of a lot of leg attacks over a period of time and just like my reputation of I'm always trying to score a lot of points. So obviously their plan was to slow me down um, and he had slowed me down for the majority of that match. But as it was, I was able to execute and I was able to catch him back on his heels, you know, that was, uh, that was the difference for me and able to get that takedown and win, you know, so that was pretty great.
the Olympics end and you have four years to the next one. Four years is a long time. Well, the way that this works is we're only two years from making the team. You know, so we have two world championships between now and then. Our final X is June 8th. Best two out of three. I'm sitting in the finals, earned the right by being a medalist last year. So I'll wrestle whoever makes it through 86 kilos in the United States at the world team trials. I wrestle one person, the best two out of three format. The world championships are in Serbia. The world hasn't changed. You know, Yazdani is the guy that I have to go beat. Russia's good. You know, there's good people in the United States. I mean, there's no, um, no putting like the car before the horse, you know, like it's going to be hard to make the team. I haven't wrestled since the uh, world championships, you know, I, it took me a while to kind of get motivated and get back in there. But I'm the kind of guy when I step out there and I'm hungry, I get what I want, you know, and I, I'm hungry again. So one of the very first things I do in any city I go to is I look for a local juice shop. I try and find raw, organic, um, and just local. If I can not find a chain, that's obviously like preference, but you know, here this looks like a really good spot. We just looked it up and uh, looking forward to try it out. Uh, yeah, I always try and find like the most like green, like green veggie heavy juice that I can find. Most green will be definitely the voice. Okay. It's mostly vegetables, all of them are cold pressed, it doesn't have any fruit, so there is no sugar added to it, so this is the most green, and the celery, but it's just the celery juice. Right. Really enjoy like supporting local businesses, and especially ones that value really quality products, so. I just started juice more. Like when you first start, it's scary. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna drink like celery and kale and spinach. Like I don't even eat that stuff, that's disgusting. But uh, you know, as you start like doing it, your palate changes, you know, and you actually like start to want really green heavy juices. But it's just the micronutrients are, are so powerful, uh, good for your gut health. When you don't like juice very often and you juice, you just you, you like times you uh, you pay for one back there. <laughs> you know, it's like whoa, okay, here we go. It's good. It's cleaning out the garbage out there. Um, we were training this morning, and we were already training this afternoon. It's basically pretty cool. So, uh, so uh, we're going to train with Vitor Belfort. So he's um, he's in a new league, right? They have a new league on Triller, where it's like it's a uh, it's a triangle boxing ring, and basically you can it's you can clinch and you can grab and you can tie up. So he wanted to work with a Olympic, Olympic level, you know, athlete that could teach him how to tie up. So he like reached out to me, let me come down here and. Got to work on like you know tie ups, collar ties, like how to control the arms and the head, and I mean, obviously he's already an expert in punching, so like I'm, I'm not going to show him anything there. I just hope he doesn't punch me because I don't, I'm not good there. But I think um, it should be fun. Be, you know, kind of good experience, like mixing up some different training modalities while we're down here, um, just being around like you know high level people and just kind of just getting getting experience and learning from people and um, getting to know obviously the, the live training crew better. That's pretty. That's been pretty fun. We just rolled up to Vitor Belfort's house. Um, he's basically in charge of this new league called the Triad, where it's a triangular ring, but it's a mixture of boxing and upper body wrestling. And he basically, he just wanted me to come down and help him just kind of work through some hand fighting things and how to control hands and where to move people. Dominating the hand the hand fighting, it's, that's what we're going to be doing here. I'm going to be learning from the best, so yeah. I'm looking forward. Yeah, for sure. No, it's, we're here with you know, the legend Vitor Belfort, and he, we were just talking about the triad. So um, really just kind of talked to him about wrestling and hand fighting and, the, and wrestling and controlling the hands. And we, it was actually really interesting just like talking about, you know, there's a lot of similarities in, in boxing and wrestling when thinking about, um, you know, identifying like where someone's power comes from, which I actually learned today. But it's different, right? It's different. When wrestling, your power is with your lead leg, where in boxing, your power is with your trail leg. Uh, yeah. So it was interesting as we were talking, like we kind of come up with like just different strategies where how you can like basically get to the clinch and then you could really kind of dominate where wrestlers could really dominate in this triad league. So one thing I really, I believe guys like yourself, mm -hmm. you guys are legendary. You know, you guys did something that is, 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 uh, it's not only one person in your weight division did in the whole entire world become an Olympic champion.
So it's like, how can we combine? Are these fights gonna be like 30 seconds? So two people can get. I mean, are, are people gonna get rocked and they're gonna finish quick, or do you anticipate like endurance being a part of it? It's definitely a big factor, right? So like, if I'm hanging on you, that's like endurance. Like I want to like tire you out, like yeah, long yes, term. Yes. But do you think that they're gonna go that long, or you so think eight gonna, rounds? So but do you think, think they're gonna go eight rounds, or do you think people are gonna just get rocked early? My, my idea is like, if I, I want to fight a boxer. How can I tie them out? So yeah. you know they're not used to. Out. So yeah. so so Your arms. Yeah, arms and neck. So they're mm. not used to. Yeah. So I'm gonna like probably do this, and I want to push this in, and I want to peel it down. So I'm gonna like yeah. come like I'm doing your jab step. So I'm gonna jab into you, then I want to mm. peel this down. Mm. And now I've head position. Color tie, control. I go here. Yep. Jab, control. Yeah. Right. No, I'm I'm. This is no good. I'm no, bad position. Not bad position. Real bad. You want to push me and go that way. Yes, and now you see I'm out of balance. Now you put, you, you using your... What are on my feet? So I, you you want to do this. So you hold it, push, jab, and clinch. Yes, right there, you see? Yeah. Now, now, I have to, the boxer, he has to turn. So, so now you're pushing against me. Now you're going to take this hand, now you're going to overhand, boom. If, if we're here, I want to circle this way. Because as soon as I start circling this way, that's how I go in the power. So you want to get you want to get to my backside. Yeah. So as soon as I go when I go inside, I have to go opposite. So thinking about I go this way, this way. But as soon as I go inside, I want to go this way. Yeah. I think this is like I'm kind of like crowding yeah. you, yeah. right? And I'm I'm doing this because I want you to square up with me. Yeah. Right? Bam. Yeah. Going in here. But I think this is just the more controlling where I'm just trying to like. So if you want to control, you go here. Mm. Yeah. Bringing in a Greco wrestler would be really helpful for this league because all this stuff is like what they do my wrestling is like much more shooting like, sure. like i do a lot of tying up and stuff but we're bent over so yeah. it's different like when you're standing Drag up curry is standing up standing up hip, hip and tie hip to hip yeah so yeah we just want to welcome you know vitor to the live train platform and you know it's pretty amazing what we can do just to think about you know with our followings and with our successes now we can now access people all over the world you know we can be in one place we can have the information like the conversations that we have and it's accessible to, to everybody so what do you think about that i think it's fantastic so my dream has always been to empower people one one of my mentors asked victor if you have all the money in the world what do you choose to do and it took me time to change i don't want to retire in hawaii and just not do anything my dream was to be able to empower the next generation to become better and i think is that being said it's awesome to be able to share my knowledge and and live training, it's a great platform. I'm so proud to be part of an Olympic champion like you, man. <laughs> this is this is the life life dream for me. Oh, it's great. I think we can create some really cool content and we can definitely influence a lot of people and change their lives. Looking 100%. To that. Thank you very much, yeah, thank man. Thank you. Florida. Uh, I just I just joined the live train team and we're producing a lot of content right now. It's also I'm 16 weeks out from my next competition, so this is really my first week training. So it's been a busy couple of days. I got down here, you know, we've been we've been filming, we're filming a lot of content, technique, day in the life, documentary stuff. We're going to be producing all this awesome uh, footage, you know, coming soon. But also while I'm down here, getting into training, right, maintaining my training. So it's been a it's been a good um, mix, good integration of, of doing both. Um, right now we're here at American Top Team, beautiful facility. I'm gonna get a good workout in today. I'm gonna be in some pain, but uh, it's good. It's good. It's good. All part of the process. Um.